Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Terraria Let's Play. As you can see, since the last episode, what I've done, I have added a background to my house. And basically what this does, it makes it feel more like a home. And as you may have also heard, just now the music changed, so now it's officially daytime. I'm gonna kick these slimes, but... <laughs> but anyways, the objective for today is to get NPCs to move in by request of someone by the name of Creeper Brush. Um, so yeah, to get NPCs to move in, you need to make several homes, or several rooms in a home, which you can call a home. Hang on. Yeah. Um, but when saying home, what I mean is you need an outside wall like this, a background wall like uh, this here. Oh, hang on. Crap! Oh, good. You need a chair. You can have one or two chairs. It doesn't really matter. Um, a table and doors or a door. You don't need more than one. And a light source. But as you can see, the tour guide he will always uh, use up your first home. So what I'm going to do today, if I have enough, yes. Okay, I can get a merchant to move in. Because for a merchant to move in, you need 50 silver coins. So what I am going to do, I'm going to make some rooms. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to get some wood, because I need some. <laughs> Maybe some stone as well, actually. See if we can't get a furnace going. So anyways, yeah, each NPC, there are several types. There's an arms dealer, I think, there's, who sells guns. Um, there's someone called a dryad. He's sort of a naturist. Well, no, I don't, I don't mean he's naked, so don't, don't be alarmed. <laughs> but for Dryad to come, you need to defeat a, a boss monster. So that's the Eye of Ch 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 Chultu? Is it, is it Chultu? I can never pronounce that correctly. Or you can defeat the gigantic worm that you can summon using worm food, which I think it's called the Eater of Worlds. And there's also the Skeletron, which is by far the hardest to defeat. I've never defeated him in my life before. But still, I am nowhere near bored of this game. It's so freaking awesome. So I think for my next house, I'm going to make it out of stone. If I get some stone. I want, I want to use a variety of materials for this one. Hang on, let me just... No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're everywhere! Dude, seriously, go away. Freaking slimes are everywhere! This looks like quite a decent place to get a load of stone. And iron, apparently. So yeah, iron is sort of a dull coloured stone. Like this! And what you can do with iron, you can... Uh, you need to make a furnace first, but you make iron bars, which, like Minecraft, you can use to make upgraded tools. So that's, that's kind of cool. I think the highest ever uh, sort of weapon set you can get is, I think it's Hellstone? I've, I've never made it before, so, you know, I don't actually know. But yeah, I think it's the highest quality material you can use to make uh, weapons and tools. But yeah, you may have noticed in the previous video I was talking about uh, having a new channel. In fact, I was talking about talking as if I already had a new channel, but I decided to not do that because that would mean having to put time jumps in my videos again. So again, a Ben? Uh, <laughs> talking a load of gibberish apparently. Uh, so yeah, it should be quite cool. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing a new channel for Terraria videos because that would mean putting time jumps in my videos again because I will not have the unlimited time to uh, upload. Hang on, that didn't make sense. Didn't have the time limit of 15 minutes, that's what I mean. I think if you make a certain amount of good videos, they will take the um, limit off. Anyways, if you... What, what, what have I got him up? Go away. Okay. Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it a different way. Oh god. Please go away. So yeah, each NPC they will take up 
one of your rooms. And yes, only one NPC can occupy a room. So, yeah. But uh, keep in mind you have to make multiple rooms for them. Hang on. There we go, right, um, work bench. Let's have some more of this. Although sometimes NPCs can be a bit annoying in the way that they open and close doors. And the bad thing about that, especially at night, is if they open a door, they might end up letting in some zombies. And you can't really train them to not do that either. So obviously what I'm doing now, I'm adding walls to the uh, house. Oh, by the way, something I uh, learned during the time I was off not doing this video. Um, you can make an alchemy station by simply putting some glass bottles on a table. Hang on, I need I need a furnace. Have I got a furnace? What? Oh, I need lights first. Come on. Lights. Okay, now I can make it. You need lights. 20 bits of stone. I think some wood as well. Is it wood? Yeah. Okay. Let's, oops, a daisy. Let's go chuck this up here. You don't you don't need the furnace to actually be able to officially call it a room. And that tall guy just let a free me with that flipping slime in. That didn't make sense. Ugh. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now, uh Oh, I'm already on. Cool. Okay. Let's get some of this. Might go ahead and get some sand in a minute as well. So I'm going to make it like an office. So it'll be a table here. Something here. Um, I might actually extend the walls over this way. Um, I need to... I need... Two doors. Yeah, two doors. Okay. Oh god, there we go. Uh, that doesn't look right. Okay, swap the arrangement around. Where's the... Oh, there. The table there. Chair there. Facing the wrong way. Stop being so stupid! And the uh, house also needs, the, well sorry, the room needs to be of a certain size. Well, it doesn't have to be of a certain size, it has to be reasonably big, like, this is this is a suitable room for uh, an NPC to move in. So yeah, um, so if we get back downstairs, we're gonna extend the walls out this way. I don't need to get rid of this dirt wall. Oh my god, I hate this sound, it's so slow! Even the upgraded ones are still slow. But they do do quite a lot of damage to enemies. Hello, talk. Oh, see! Look, 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 look! Merchant has arrived! See? Even though he can't get up to his room, because I don't think they jump, I... I have got an NPC! And it There he is! And that really is as easy as that, peoples! All you gotta do is make a room with a table and chair, a background, an outside wall, a door, and a light source, and then you will get NPCs moving. So creeper rush, I, ho I hope this is I hope this has been some use to you. Because to be honest, I actually learned this myself yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, and what you can do with a merchant, he he sells you things. If you right click on him, it says shop. Boy, that sun is hot. I do have some perfectly ventilated armor. No, you don't! Where the hell is the armor? So, remember, to get a merchant, you need 50 silver coins and a room for him. As you can see, you buy loads of stuff from him for reasonable prices. Apart from that, that's a rip-off. 50 bits of copper for one torch? You're having a laugh, aren't you? But yeah, you can, you can buy all sorts from him. You can get wooden arrows, 
sh 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 shuriken? Is that how you pronounce it? Shuriken? Iron anvil. Actually, I could do with one then. Um, maybe a couple of these as well. Dude, how much did that cost? Oh, 50 silver. Okay. So I've got a nice healing potion. Come on. Come on, merchant. That's it. Right, jump up. No, no, no. J no. You, you, you're, you're going the wrong way. You, you're an idiot. Okay, let's go ahead and put chuck this down somewhere. Hmm. Um. Chuck that there. I'm gonna put the furnace here. Mm, that's all right. So, uh, see, that's, that's pretty much it for the tutorial on getting NPCs to move in. It really is quite easy once you get used to it. Okay, so let's finish up our house. Um, I'm not even sure. C dude, can you move out of the way? Thank you. Ugh, I hate it on grass grows. I want to try and make the rooms the same size, or roughly the same width, so I say. about right. Sorry, my OCD tells me to do this, so... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you, you do have to do certain things for each type of NPC to move in. So, I think there's some websites that sort of specialise in telling you what to do. I'm just quietly hammering along. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think, I think one. Here we go. Right, okay. Something like that. Okay. Um. Let's chuck some more over here. No, 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 no. That's not right. It goes one up, one more. There we go, yeah. Okay. That's some light source. And some more stone room. And fill in the wall, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and any episode there. I don't want these to drag on too long. There's someone like a flaming slime in. Who did that? But yeah, the NPCs will move into their specified room when it becomes uh, night time. So you don't have to... And they do actually lose health. Especially when the blood moon comes out. Because, of course, zombies can get into your house. Through your door. And it is blood moon. Okay. Dude, this bites through wood like nobody. Dude, seriously. So much wood being used. Okay, that looks alright. Um, let's get up here. Uh, make some more rooms for more NPCs to move in. I think you can find muskets, which is a type of gun on here, um, in those little orbs in the... what's it called? Corruption, I think it's called. Um, and to get to them, you either need purification powder, which you can buy from a dryad, I think it is. Or, you can get uh, what's it called? I think it's called a Demonite at Pickaxe. So it's basically a very much upgraded version of this. I've got no more wood left. I'm completely out. That's problematic. Yeah. 
Oh, I can make one move. Let's go do that. Chop that there, chop that there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to leave your uh, comments and suggestions or requests in the comments area below. And don't forget to like the video if you did like it. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching again, and I shall see you later.